Welcome everyone to Axe and Allies. The 1998 version, I have an LP of uh, this game actually on my channel already. However, uh, I'm probably going to take that down or put it on private and upload this one. I just want to have some better quality and a really quick series for me to do. Uh, this version is based off the board game that was released all throughout the... Um, 19, I want to say 1960s to, I think they're even releasing stuff now, but uh, here we're going to be playing as the Allies. Now, I play a little bit of this game, not a whole lot, not that great at it. You can pick between your AI, which will supposedly make them better or not. I haven't really played around with that, so I can't tell what, uh, how much of a difference there is. In here, uh, the only thing I'm going to change is this right here, where it means that the only way for either side to win is for them to have uh, two capitals. This IVC victory, which is essentially their money, if they ended up gaining up to, uh, you know, like 84 money between the two, they'd end up winning, which, yeah, whatever. And uh, the only th other thing I'm going to say is that, um, for right now, is that my music in-game is broken, so I'm going to substitute my own. I'll have the links to everything down in the description below. So let's go ahead and keep on going. First you start off as the uh, USSR, and uh, this episode, this first episode, is going to be pretty much full of all the explanation. Now here you can buy weapon development, they cost 5 IPCs each, and if you end, and you'd end up rolling that die, if you end up getting a 6, you will get one of these um, things uh, automatically, just randomly. You're not able to pick which one. And uh, there's only real, they're useful, but nothing important, and um, the Soviets don't really have the money to spare, so you want to skip on that. And here, um, you can see all of their point values and their actual unit values for attack and defense, which is nice. But what we're pretty much going to do for the USSR is we're going to shock throw everything into infantry. Go ahead and buy that, and now uh, they're bought, and you can place them at the end of the round. Now you're in your combat move, and this is where you'd end up attacking. We have a submarine, and we have a uh, transport here. I'm going to go ahead and move the sub here, and the transport here as well. Which will help protect the North Sea, which already has a British battleship and a British transport. Now, if you, as you can see here, um, every unit, every um, location has its own IPC values, except for the gray ones here, or white, or whatever you want to call them. These are neutral territories. I can go into neutral territory. However, it will cost, um, I believe it will cost some IPC to do so, and um, it does not have any value. You can make it to where it does, but I don't. So what are we going to do right here at the moment? Um, you do have to worry about the Japanese, uh, compared to in real life, where uh, Japanese uh, left the Soviets alone for the entire war, and then the Soviets came and, you know, pushed them out of Manchuria near the very end of it. But what I'm probably going to go ahead and do is actually just, um... Hmm, that's actually a really good point. I'm going to go ahead and move just these people out over into here. Um, because since I have a factory here in Karelia, I'm able to put all my units I need to in this area. Even though the Germans are going to go ahead and attack there next turn, uh, they tend to. They almost always do. And if that's the case, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, put my fighters in here. And I'll throw, yeah, I'll keep my tanks in there just in case so they don't go after the Coxes just in the advent. But uh, here in Russia, we have an uh, industry here, and we have an industry here. So, yeah. So, not really doing anything of attacking at the moment. Go ahead and click Done. Combat. We had no combat. Non-combat move, so you'd be able to move any units that you didn't move during combat. Or if you, like, had your planes out, you can move them back. Now you can go ahead and place your units. Just throw them all into here. Go ahead and click Done. I collected my money, and now he'll end up attacking me somewhere. He's attacking me in Africa. Well, the British in Africa, but close enough. Now, uh, he's attacking transport in my in the Labrador Sea. If I'm lucky, this guy will end up rolling a one gain amount. Um, oh, I guess I should, I should explain combat. So the way the combat works is that um, this guy, if he ends up rolling a 4, a 3, a 2, or a 1, then he'll end up getting a, a hit on me. And if this guy ends up rolling a 1, he'll end up getting a hit. So let's see. Nope, did not get a hit. 
Now they're attacking me in the North Sea, and uh, they have three planes in the submarine. Uh, so whoever... Uh, oh, so the sub ended up missing, so the three fire zone going the all three hit, so... Go ahead and hit that, and I'm getting one hit off. They end up hitting me twice, and that's enough to destroy the battleship. With the settings that I have, the battleships take two hits, but he'll at least take one plane with him. Now, uh, he ended up attacking me in the East Mediterranean Sea. He sent a battleship against my submarine. The battleship missed. My sub hit his, um, his transport. Now, with submarines, you have the option to retreat or submerge. If there's an airplane um, in the battle, you're not able to retreat. But uh, with submarines, they can submerge and they'll leave the battlefield. Now, they're taking me Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. And we're having this epic battle here that I'm going to lose. Thanks. Thanks, assholes. You could have won that. You could have, you know, defeated the Germans right there in Africa, but no. No, you couldn't do that. Fine, whatever, you jerks. So they're in my waterway now, but um, I can send my aircraft afterwards to deal with that. Now, the British, um, it kind of does depend on where you really want to focus. Uh, focusing on the Japanese is probably the more crucial part. Um, even though the Germans, they just can't bring over much in the way of actual forces uh, to really defeat you, so you don't have to worry that much about it in Africa. What I'm going to go go ahead and do, I'm going to throw down infantry in here, and, you know, I'll give myself a bomber, why not? But uh, since they're in my waterway, I'm going to go ahead and send these two guys out against here, and I will send... What can I do here? That should be enough to deal with those two, because the only one that could attack me back is a transport. Uh, subs can't hit air units, obviously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send this battleship over into here, and my sub's already here, so hopefully that should be enough. Um, the Germans don't really have much of a navy, as you can tell. And I'll just go ahead and um, I'll do a specialty run with the bomber here. I have a transport over here, which I'm going to actually send down over to here. I'm not going to load any men onto it right now because the Japanese might actually try to come and sink it, which would not be a good idea, uh, good for me, I should say. And I'll go ahead and move this uh, guy upward. Now, uh, in some versions of the game, you can't move a unit um, unless it's directly into combat on a combat move. It won't let you. But with this version, it'll let you move them as long as it's a move action. Uh, this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and leave him here. Uh, I don't think the AI will attack me with its tank, because they don't like to send tanks in on its own. But, yeah, and there's not really much else I can really do as the British at the moment, so that's really about it. Go ahead and end here. There was some combat. Uh, I almost forgot where the hell it was. I'm going to go ahead and deal with this one. Uh, really important. And I'm going to roll on him. He got rid of his sub. I'll attack again, Groove's transport, and he didn't hit me back, which is good. I'll go ahead and deal with this battle here. This one I might end up losing, which would be really bad, but we'll see. Sub missed. Uh, he ended up hitting. I'll get rid of my... You know what? No, I actually won't. Oh, never mind. Apparently you can't. No, you can't. Never mind. I'll go ahead and remain. Sub hit, and uh, whenever a submarine ends up hitting, the unit does not get to a counterattack. And you, may be, and you may be wondering why I'm sending a bomber in to face all these guys, but I'm not. What I'm going to be doing is a strategic bombing where the AA gun will try to shoot me down where it ends up missing. And then the bomber, will, then a dice will be rolled and whatever is rolled will be removed from the enemy IPCs. So it's a good way to get rid of some money though. Go ahead and end that. Now planes have to land in friendly territory and they can't land stuff... Th that was just taken. I didn't take anything, but like if I had taken the territory, I couldn't land them in there. So you have to be a little bit careful. Uh, normally, it will show you like, hey, you know, you can't bring this guy back to a location because they only have a certain move action. But sometimes it's buggy, and you know, you kind of have to deal with it. But anyway, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna put down industry here, and I'll throw a bomber up into here. That'll be the end of my turn. Now the Japanese will go. And what are you going to do? Attack me in China. And I'm getting ready for infantry. Hopefully this guy will hit, because if he hits, they might get rid of one of their fighters. Nope. They did not. And they're attacking me here in the Central Pacific. And, um... Let's see, I'll go ahead and get my sub. I guess it's carrier too. 
Oh, sweet! And will you actually hit him and get rid of him? Nope. Uh, that was fantastic, because normally they will end up just like completely swiping you off, which is a pain in the ass. Alright, so no weapon development for me here. Um, what I'm going to need, I'm going to go ahead and get a carrier. I don't, I don't necessarily need a carrier, but uh, they're a pretty good defensive unit, which is going to be nice. That, and I guess what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and actually build some transports. That's pretty much all that I'm going to do for right now. Um, I could actually land some people here into Africa if I so wanted to. Which may not be a horrible idea, because I don't have much in the way of manpower here. So, you know, actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and, uh, and do that. I kind of find it amusing that, you know, the U.S. has control over Mexico. And, you know, Mexico is this weird, oddly shaped blob, which incorporates a whole fuck ton of countries. And, you know, it's Panama, well... I'm not sure if it actually incorporates anyone else. I mean, I, I don't know. And Venezuela has recreated Gran Colombia. Oh, God, no. Uh, that would not have been good. And, you know, Chile's completely gone. Well, actually, no. Chile, Paraguay. Or is it Uruguay? Oh, fuck me. I don't remember my geography anymore. God damn it. Oh, whatever. Go ahead and unload two people in here. And uh, with a transport, and that one's going to get sunk, by the way. Pretty much no matter what I do. Uh, transport can either carry uh, two infantry or one tank. And I'll go ahead and I guess just go ahead and kind of move you here. And I'll leave that as is. Uh, I could go ahead after that uh, battleship. However, I don't really want to have a, tra a um, transport and a battleship against a transport and a carrier. That's a little bit too risky. What I am going to go ahead and do, I'm going to move these guys back here. Move them out. Apparently China and Sikian, they're completely different things. I, it's like a risk map. Only, you know... Worse. And I'm taking Algerian combat, and then I'll go over here into China, and attack here. And uh, various units have you know differences on their attack compared to defense. Infantry have a one attack compared to a two defense. So I end up hitting him, and he hit me once. What shock! Done with that, and I can actually move. Um, I can move this anywhere into Allied territory. Which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and actually move down here into India. That'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and give up China and let them do whatever the hell they want. And I can go ahead and place my units here. Fantastic. Now at the end of every little, um, I guess you can say round, there's this little thing right here. And it'll show you the uh, ups and downs of everything. The USSR ended up losing a fair amount um, because of they lost a fair amount of units. UK's down and Japan's down, and the US and Germany are up. It's my turn again. I'm going to go ahead and again go full infantry. And uh, because my navy is gone, but the Soviet navy is completely, is pretty much completely and totally worthless. It honestly is. So there are a few things I could try and do. I could go after the Japanese while they're still relatively weak in this area, which may not be a horrible idea. I'll actually go ahead and try that. I'll have to see how bad it's going to do me. Can I bring support? No, I cannot. <clears throat> then I'm also going to go ahead and send all these people into the Ukraine with my planes to support, and I'll send most of my units into there. I just have overwhelming firepower. This one I might end up losing. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Because if I lose that, then I'm going to have to divert people over into here, and I really don't want to, so... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that, and uh, I should be okay, so... Go ahead and enter into combat. Or did I not... Alright, I apparently was in combat. Move. Combat here. Go ahead and attack. I only got three out of everyone. They got near the same amount of people, with so few people. I'll attack again. Got rid of all of them. And even if Yuna has died, they still get in to uh, attack and return. There you go, we get the territory back. Gotta move these people back and place all of my people into here. Now let's see what you're gonna end up doing, Germany. You're going to attack my transport, which I figured. And <laughs> really, bomber? I was like, okay, you miss. Oh, sorry, it was a fire, not a bomber. 
I was like, wow, you missed a lot. And... Okay, you're coming after me in Algeria. I did not expect that. Come on, if you're in the pain him, he might... Um... No, he just won't take the territory. Planes cannot take over a territory, um, you know, because essentially they can't land there. So uh, the Americans, they kept the territory uh, as it is, and I just end up losing my units. Now I'm going to go ahead and purchase three infantry because uh, to put down here in India, because if you end up buying an industry, you're not able, you can only put whatever the IPC amount is in there. Uh, compared to any ones that you start with the game, like uh, here in Karelia, I can put as many as I want. In Russia, I can put as many as I want. So, yeah. <laughs> now, outside of that, if I am trying to get transports in the water, they're just going to get sunk. So, I'll go ahead and buy a fighter, because why the hell not? Now, I'll go ahead and send one into here, one into here. And now I can move this guy pretty much wherever the fuck I want to now without much of an issue. You can go ahead and uh, actually head to Persia. And uh, I'll go ahead and just move you um, out from India here, because uh, I, don't, I don't need any, like, um, naval support in here. I prefer them in my home waters. Even though they're going to get sunk again, because, you know, that's the only thing that these goddamn planes are good for. You know, why aren't you trying to, like, shoot me, you know, bomb Britain and, you know, win another second battle of Britain that, you know... Worked ever so excellently for you in the first place. Ha ha, good joke. Go and move this up into here, unload these guys here. Can you actually help? No, you cannot. I can go ahead and seek your transport, though. So there we go. And, uh, oh no, they destroyed my bomber. Great, thanks. That's exactly what I fucking wanted. God damn it, you. <sighs> Do you know how much that bomber was? I don't care if I have like, I should have like 200 of them. That was still a lot of money, all right? Goddamn Italy and you know, this weird swab of everything. Where, where's Sardinia, where's Cor Cor Corsia? I don't know how the fuck you pronounce that. They're gone. They don't exist in this world. I'm gonna attack this transport here. Okay, don't you fucking hit me back. I would've been mad if you did. Okay, here in the East Indies, I might actually lose this battle, but we'll see. Um, come on. There we go, so I won't lose. And these guys are going to be stuck here, I know that, but, um, yeah, whatever. Because that transport's not going to live in, like, two seconds, it's just not. Go ahead and move you back, move this bomber back. Don't you fucking get shot down. Because whenever you send a bomber in, or fires in general, I believe they have two rolls uh, to be able to get you. One when you go in, and one when you get out. And the turn, throw my three people in here, and throw a fighter up here. Now, what are you going to end up doing? Yep, you're taking the Far East, which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yep, you're attacking my uh, transport, not going to be able to hit you back. Don't know why you sent your uh, battleship down over here, though. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Nor do they have much of a navy. They haven't really built one. Well, actually, they're starting to build up transports, which is what they do all the frickin' time. They all have, like, 30,000 transports, and it's like, why do you have that many? You don't need that. And they're like, yeah, we can do, bro. I'm like, well, um, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Well, I have a spare um, transport, but I can fill that really quick. So, two, one... Two, one, and I don't have enough for that, but sure. I'll just have to remind myself that I need more transports. Go ahead and move you in, move you two in, and having a larger navy would actually probably be a little bit of a better idea. I should be okay, though. Go ahead and move my empty one here into midway, take this guy off, and move him down here, and unload onto here. It's always best to have empty transports whenever you end up trying to move. Let's go ahead and unload everyone onto this island here. And my planes, yeah, they can go ahead and come with me. Sometimes trying to land here, and like, you know, the little islands are a bit of a pain in the ass, but should be fine. Then just watch as somehow the Japanese, they come over and they end up landing here in the western United States, which incorporates, you know, most of the goddamn population. 
Well, okay, man, no, it's, yeah, it's mainly in here. But still, it's a lot. <laughs> Not gonna be doing anything combat-wise. Uh, they didn't take China, which is a little bit surprising, but whatever. Yeah, I've got really nothing that I can do, so, yeah. Nothing here. Throw you two down, and all of you are gonna just be placed there. Yay, Bruce is, they're surging forward or something, or, yeah. Even though they lost. <laughs> I, I don't get that. Yeah. Who, yeah, who really ends up knowing? So, yeah, uh, USSR was gained, Germany gained, and everyone else pretty much lost. So, yeah. And uh, this might be the end of the episode, I'm not entirely sure, but um, if it is, then I will see you guys next time. So I will catch you later.